art and history here in Lancaster, California is uh, one of four museums for the city of Lancaster. This happens to be our flagship museum. We're focused on the history of California and contemporary art. The mission of MOA is to support this community of close to a half a million people in the Antelope Valley. We are part of LA County, so you'll see multiple um, output, photography, sculpture, painting, uh, digital work, film. Our native culture is very, very prevalent here in the Antelope Valley. There's a long history, currently have a show up right now, that is talking about what that looks like and the contemporary culture that exists right now. Photographer Ken Marciono, who's also a social practice artist, He's been participating with this particular tribe for the last 20 years, documenting their 300 mile ride that they do every December in honor of the Wounded Knee Massacre. He's a beautiful photographer and you really understand the culture and the humanity involved in what was a tragic historical event for both uh, people and for our nation. Um, but also the beauty in moving forward and how people get past tragedy. There are access points to all of our community. We have a American Sign Language tour. We have a special program for our Alzheimer's community. We also have special hours for our folks that have family members who are micro and macro sensitive. So we're looking at a work by Amir Zaki. It's a California coastline that many natives will be familiar with. It is not, I would argue, the California coastline that others think of when they think of California. What's fascinating is it's created with the use of a gigapan camera. And a gigapan camera was invented by NASA. And if you're starting to notice that the entire picture, 100% edge to edge is in super focus, that's the gigapan at work. MOA Cedar is the Lancaster Museum of Art and History's community engagement space. Here we feature local artists, but also emerging artists in the galleries here. Exhibitions at MOA Cedar are going to be more experimental in nature. They're going to give artists the opportunity to maybe do something that's unusual for their practice. So the exhibition that we have now is Zara Monet Feeney's Royal Disillusion. The majority of it has been made during the COVID-19 pandemic. Lots of it deals with the anxiety, uh, sort of the disillusion around what is fantasy and how we suspend our disbelief to create our own realities. Artists are welcome to come in and activate the creative space, utilizing any of the art materials and supplies that we have to create works of art throughout the year. So it's a number of paints, glues, any sort of materials that, that you would need to create artwork are available in that space. It was really important to Andrew to create spaces where arts were accessible and free and we are pleased to have that available here at the Museum of Art and History at Cedar. The Museum of Art and History at Cedar has a number of different programs that are happening at this facility. They include the Moe Cedar Concert Series, which has local bands and bands from Los Angeles coming in and performing to our audiences. And other times there's the Moe Cedar Movie Night, which we erect a huge screen in our hall and we have families come with a workshop to watch a movie together. There's also the Moe Cedar Board Game Cafe. Art is history. I mean, as we look back on the way we look at cultures and understand previous eras and history, we look at art. We're offering things that, uh, certainly the things that revolve around culture that are so important for people to thrive. That's been our main goal. Now with the pandemic, it's even more obvious of where our need is in our community. And so we're really able to like laser in and pinpoint what those things are and where we need to be. 